I'm not buying. I'm, I'm, I still haven't bought anything. I am still in cash. I'm not buying. Um, what can I say? So um, I've actually, let me rephrase that. I've done some short-term buys and some short-term shorts. Uh, I did short on Wednesday and I covered today, this morning actually. So I made a few percent on that. Nothing huge. It's not really worth talking about. I have made some swing trades here and there, maybe some you know hold for a day. But I have not purchased like my actual core position. I'm still not doing it. Um, and as soon as I do, I'll let you guys know. But here in the stock market, it's a huge psych psychological game. Um, there's a lot of people that are saying that there's fear in the market. Uh, I don't think that's true. I don't think there's a lot of fear in the market. In fact, this period right here, this entire drop over the last maybe month, I've never seen more people say buy the dip. So that's not fear to me. In February, everybody was saying, you know, run away from the stock market. We're about to crash. Um, but that's that's just, it's a completely it's night and day difference between today and February. So I don't think there's a lot of fear in the market. Um, a lot of people are saying to buy the dip. Um, I think there's going to be a bigger dip. Um, and the saying that I like to use is a lot of people are saying buy the dip, but uh, they don't have enough chip. <laughs> so they're going to buy something you know very early. Um, but I think we still have uh, some more downside to go. Um, but either way, I, I do see two two scenarios happening right here. One of them is bullish, the other one is bearish. So I want to walk through both of those scenarios. Um, the bullish scenario is that this is the first wave up in a, in a new impulsive move. Um, uh, and I had a feeling that we would pull back today, and that's exactly why I covered my shorts uh, today. But basically what I'm looking out for is this in the bullish scenario. Um, so there's these two gaps that I was watching out for. At the very least, I knew we were going to fill this one. And I still think we're going to come back and fill this one. So um, if this is the bullish scenario, what I would expect is for price action to come back, fill this gap before heading out higher. Um, this gap also sits at the 0.618 retracement, so an ideal place to bounce. Um, if we do do that, and then we all-time highs are in the cards, um, and so, yeah, so that would definitely be an interesting point um, to buy right here. Um, I probably wouldn't be ballsy enough to do it, but this is certainly a really good entry for those of you that are more bullish than I am. You know, obviously, I'm not 100% right. So if you are a bull, I would think that's a good buying opportunity right there. But I personally won't be doing it. The interesting thing is that the NASDAQ also sees the exact same thing, 0.618 here at the gap fill. It's almost textbook perfect. Um, on the daily time frame, um, obviously a very huge day here on Wednesday, but nothing happened on Thursday, and then now we're getting some kind of gap down open. So um, this is, uh, yeah, it's a pretty interesting scenario. Um, definitely lots of crossroads there. So that's the bullish scenario. Now let's talk about the bearish scenario. Um, but take a look at where we're getting rejected. It's exactly at the 0.618. Beautiful. That is that is awesome. So. If this was three waves down, this would be the first wave, this would be the second wave, and the third wave, we would expect to make a lower low. What's my price target? And this is something that I've said over and over again. I am expecting something close to here. So something around 2400 is where I would love to see this thing bottom out. Um, if we take a look at a weekly time frame, so the S&P 500 doesn't look too bad. Um, although one thing to note is that we did get rejected off of this 2800 level resistance, um, which has acted as resistance. Really clearly very important, acted as resistance here, resistance here, then became support, then resistance again once we broke through it, and then now resistance one more time. So clearly very important. Um, and we got that short-term bounce that I was talking about. So um, the candlestick last week looked really good, like some kind of hammer. So we got that follow through. Um, if we take a look at Amazon, um, Amazon also is getting the follow through off of this very, very nice bullish candlestick. So we got the bounce. The question is now what? Um, obviously, I would love to see another lower low. And if we take a look at the NASDAQ, the upper wick here is a lot larger than the S&P 500. Um, still have a few minutes left to go in the day. I would love to see a little bit lower. Um, and then if we do get a little bit lower, this would look like kind of a bear flag um, for more continuation to the downside. So that's kind of what I'm seeing right now. Uh, and if that does happen, I, I mean, I have just a whole bunch of cash waiting to deploy. Um, this may be my greatest trade of the last year and a half um, so I'm very very excited for that um, the I guess the moral of the story is if you guys are doing M1 finance long-term investing continue doing that that's great 
get your dollar cost averaging in, get those cheap shares, um, and you know, just hold forever, whatever you want to do, hold for the long run. Uh, but if you are doing that short term aggressive trading, you know, that 3x ETF kind of thing, which I'm doing, um, I think there's there's a huge opportunity to be made, and it's it's going to catapult my my account. So very excited for that. Um, but anyway, so I want to I want to end the video here. Um, as always, keep me updated on your guys' portfolio and then everything that you're trading and investing and things like that. Is this a lower low? Are we? Um, is this like a short term bounce? Or whatever, whatever you guys, whatever you think is gonna happen, just let me know. Um, but yeah, so that's it for me. Um, I hope you have a great day. Um, I'm actually on somewhat of a vacation, so it's clearly the middle of the day, but I'm here recording, so um, I'm excited for this weekend. But anyway, hope you have a great day. Um, good luck trading and stay safe out there.